Lucas Media. So we got news coming out of basketball, and that's Bronny James, LeBron James Jr., is signing his deal already with the Los Angeles Lakers, who was drafted number 55th overall pick last week. Now, Bronny is doing something unique in that his contract is fully guaranteed, and it's a multi-year deal. And again, you don't really see this happen for second-round picks, let alone the 55th overall pick. And I'm seeing this per all the news outlets, you know, ESPN, uh, Bleacher Report, you know, the list goes on and on. You know, I, I still keep seeing a lot of different people. I've seen the odd couple, Rob Parker and Chris Broussard talk about it, and Rob Parker said that, you know, this is the worst case of nepotism ever. I've seen other athletes or other outlets, should I say, talk about it. And you also have, you know, a lot of athletes, majority of them seem like they're okay with it. You know, Rich Paul did say before the draft that Bronny's looking for, we're going to get him a guaranteed contract. And also rumor has it that he told other teams to stay away. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not surprised if LeBron's about to sign more than likely a three year deal. And now reports are coming out as he's willing to take less money to get better talent there or you know better star players to try to win one more championship you don't think that they're going to sign a three-year deal with ronnie and try to make him become the best player you know make him become a good player should i say not the best but you know make him become a good player and also the lakers are you know they don't have a problem giving ronnie two million dollars a year that's chump change to them honestly you know how much money they're going to make i was having a discussion with a guy on facebook and he he couldn't understand why i'm saying that the lakers are going to make so much money so this is pocket change to them honestly but you got that going on and then, like i said if lebron signs a three-year deal could you imagine if they somehow win a ring i don't think they will but could you imagine if they somehow get a ring but you know again a lot of people are arguing that this is nepotism and it is it is I was going to make a separate video about this, but Rich Paul said that Bronny would have got drafted had he not been, had his name been John Smith, and I totally disagree with that. We all know why Bronny's being drafted, and it just happened to be the fact that he got drafted to the Los Angeles Lakers with the 55th overall pick. Come on now. You know, I mean, let's just be honest. And again, I don't have a problem with it because it is what it is. You know, the NBA and the Lakers and Jenny Buss, they all trying to line their pockets. You know, you didn't see... You don't see people blocking it or you don't see Adam Silver coming out about it. No, because everybody's enjoying this all the way to the bank. You know, all the uh, Rob Parker was talking about, well, there could have been somebody else. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you, Rob, man, Rob, you're a journalist. You've been a journalist for a long time. You know, salute to you. But come on now. You don't really think you really think that a team is going to pass up making millions of dollars off of publicity and and merchandise sales you really think that they, they're gonna pass that up and again the nasa's the nasa would be on the on the bucks if it wasn't for Giannis. leangelo ball i mean like leangelo what's his name yeah it is leangelo leangelo ended up being on the g league of the hornets mind you the man played what four games in college basketball but because Lamelo there you know Lamelo the star and they want to keep him happy i didn't see people complaining i seen people actually rooting for him so i think a lot of people are 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 indifferent about this and it personally don't matter to me but i will say this let me say this the the level of competition that's going to be going at Bronny is going to be insane because you know they're going to have him out there at least at least a couple of games now this year oh yeah the lakers they finna they finna recruit their money that they bought that they didn't pay Bronny. so you don't think that a patrick beverly or you know one of these point guards not going to be in a and Bronny grill the whole time he out there but to be fair Bronny has great composure, and, you know, if any player in the league is built for this moment, it's Bronny. Bronny's had a spotlight on him since he was in, what, elementary school? I remember he was in middle school, and people was saying, did he have the best middle school team ever? And could you, middle school, middle school, they was doing uh, sold-out games, and people were saying, was he going to be the next one? And I see a lot of people saying that Bronny, you know, it was, it was his heart, you know, when he had his, his health issues this year. You know, he had that, that heart scare when he went to cardiac arrest last season. And, you know, again, I, I'm glad he had a speed to recover from that. But there you're saying that that's probably the reason why he was off. And I don't, I don't know. When I watch the games, I try to watch as many as I could live. It just seems like the players that was playing was so much better than him. He had flashes, flashes. You would see him here and there. But I don't know if he was out of position. He wasn't on the court like that. And then, like I said, half the time I see him get the ball and he would immediately pass it. Those didn't have, you know, I don't see NBA uh, quality yet. You know, I, I see small flashes, but I don't see it as far as, you know, oh, yeah, he needs to be a pick. He, he definitely need to be in the NBA draft. No, I, but i understand again this is entertainment this is business you know if you want to keep Bronny, if you want to keep lebron there 
which brings in revenue, which keeps your net worth going up, then you got to bring in a son. And again, you never seen nothing like this. And Jeannie Buss want to be able to capitalize on this financially as much as she can. And it is what it is. It's just funny that now we're starting to see that it don't matter what it is. It's a business. And for the ones who still complain, look how much the NFL did with Taylor Swift last year. With the Chiefs. Couldn't even be a first down without them zooming to her. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it again. You know, shout out to Ronnie for already getting a multi-year multi-million dollar deal already guaranteed but yeah let me know in the comments section below as always am i tripping you know would y'all do this for y'all son because again if my son was able to go to the league and i was in the league and had power to get him there i would i'm sorry you know i would i'm going to do anything i can to make sure that my kids succeed but yeah let me know if i'm tripping down below in the comments